It's a place where the mountains meet the Piedmont and the horse industry is a staple of the economy. But the White Oak Mountain to try on peak focus area in Polk County is also a hotspot for developers. News 13's Karen Wynn shows us what's being done to protect this pristine region in tonight's Blue Ridge Forever. Horses have been part of Gerald Pack's family for generations. My family is a very old um, family here in this area. They've always been big and a lot of land, farming, etc. Pack's farm trains, sells, and breeds the animals. He recently decided to put more than 90 acres of his land into a conservation easement. Pack says protecting wide open spaces like these is about more than just beauty. It also protects the health of his horses. They're herding animals and they, they need to have space to roam. So, and <clears throat> one acre is just not enough. Now, Pack knows his farm will be protected forever for his children, grandson, and generations to come. They're uh, very excited about being able to keep it and keep it intact. Pack's farm is at the foot of White Oak Mountain and Tryon Peak. It's part of a Blue Ridge Forever focus area which contains the Pakalet River headwaters. It's a healthy river. It's got a lot of oxygen in it. It's clean and cold. Nearby Chocolate Drop Mountain, with part of its side removed by a developer, is a constant reminder that this pristine landscape can easily change. To have the horse farms, we have to have the protection of the mountains with the water systems that are coming down because that's what feeds the lower part. If we don't do something about it now, to hold it and hold on to it, it's just not going to be here. And suburbia is just around the corner. This is what happens when development encroaches on our horse farms. It was very important to me to be able to preserve this property for my children, my grandchildren, or great-grandchildren. People always say, well, I'd like to do something in my life that makes it, um, a, a difference in the future. And this is one thing that any of us can do. If you had a, a group of people that would band together and do this, then you would have 100% protection. Horses do much better. They're designed to be grazing animals and moving a large amount of miles every day as they travel and eat. The more you restrict their movement, the less grazing land there is, the less um, land for them to move around on. They consequently have more veterinary problems. The Tryon, North Carolina area is one of the most <clears throat> natural areas for horses. The hills, the terrain, the streams that we have, it's just absolutely perfect. We're very fortunate here in this area to still have the opportunity to go out across country and different things, but many areas no longer have it. Here in the Tryon area, we have many different disciplines in the horse world.
Casey started in the Orange County Hunt Territory working on easements back in the 70s and early 80s. And it's taken us, you know, 30 years to get to the point where we have 325,000 acres protected in our region. We're probably in the top three protected areas in the, in the country right now. Horse farms have been historically one of the most important groups of, of landowners in our region. They have put land under easement at a higher rate than almost anybody else. In our region, there's a growing recognition that the horse industry is an actually really important local economic engine. And if we don't have the farms that are employing people that are generating money in the community for the feed stores and tax shops and all those different businesses that go along with the horse industry, we're not going to have that. So we need to maintain the farms. It's been successful because the horse community in our area recognizes the importance of protecting horse farms and the larger landscape. A lot of conservation in this area got done because people out in the hunt field were talking to each other about you know, the need to protect their hunt lands. The geographic proximity of farms and having a, a significant collection of farms, and it's grown from there. You know, so many of the people who are fox hunting are, um, they're also eventers. They're also doing the hunter jumpers, you know, during the summer. And so there's so much crossover in that community that people have recognized that, you know, we're, we're not going to have places to ride. We're not going to have places to grow our hay. A lot of people that had moved here from other areas had seen development and seen how fast it could happen when you're this close to a place like Washington. And so that, that need for conservation has really just grown organically. And, and PEC has been here to facilitate that and help along those conversations as necessary. Horse people has just been such a benefit to them for all of the reasons that are good for conservation, but also because it's good for them. So the run out, the fox hunting, uh, everything for the horses, it's just made it wonderful. Horse farms definitely add to the scenic qualities and the historic qualities of our region. The historic and scenic landscape in, in the Virginia Piedmont is critically important for tourism. It's critically important as an economic engine just in the community. And in this area that we call the golden area, we're probably 90% in easements. There were a lot of people that got together in little areas and kind of all met and said, okay, I'll do it if you do it. The more people you can get to do it in an area, then you really have a complete package and, and something that really, really has value. The property values, I'd say right now, uh, the, the golden area that's 90% in easements uh, we're selling land for just about exactly twice the price of land just outside of the golden area that is not in easements. Any place they buy is pretty much easements on three sides and probably four sides. You know, I think horse farm owners, if, if, they, if they can get their friends to do it, get their neighbors to do it, what they get is they get better ride out. They get better um, access to locally grown hay. They get better access to uh, trainers who want to come and, and train in that area because they know that that area is going to stay a horse farm area. I think that the conservation of land, people know that they can move here and it's going to be this way. Horse farms can really be a, an excellent resource and, and leader in conservation. If you can get four or five people at a time and uh, somebody's, somebody's got to be the leader, just, just do it.